Hi, so today we're going to be doing a part four um, in terms of our Twitter bot that we were making with Python and Tweepy. So last time we did some debugging and I thought we were done, but um, after some thorough testing, uh, well, as you can see, there are some rate limits that we hit and it will bug out the script. So I would like to further come out and show the changes I've made and as well make new changes so that we can um, prevent errors from happening in our script. So some of the things that I remember right off the bat um, that were wrong from the end of our last video is that these time variables would never run because this was labeled as time start rather than time time so nothing was being updated in these if statements and then i also um in the while loop i put in some more uh, logging so we run this thing that basically says how long the bot has been running um and then we also check if we've been running for three hours before we've been check we check if we've been running for one hour and then if we've been running for three hours we also restart the time the timer um for unfollowing your mutual friends and i believe that's something that i also forgot to add in the last video was the unfollow friends method um, so the unfollow friends method basically does the same thing that the unfollow followers method does, but instead of checking whether or not they're following us, we just go ahead and unfollow them no matter what. So in our unfollow function, which we also didn't get to um, test in our last video, um, apparently the old function, which exists friendship, doesn't work in Python 3. And uh, with that, uh, we have to use this other, this new trial. So basically what happens is you use this, you use this function called show friend friendship. And um, we, can, we can use source screen name, the parameter source screen name. We can still use our variable handle. And then we are using the variable user, just like we always were um, before. For the target uh, ID of the user, and uh, so what we have to do is we have to check whether or so what it returns is so the this function returns a tr uh, a tuple and it's stored in this variable called status. So we need to pull um, the we need to pull just one part of that tuple out, and that part is status of one. So there's three parts, there's part zero, part one, and part two. We need the part one, and then uh, we're gonna see if they're following us. So that means they're following us back. If that means false, then we'll unfollow them. And otherwise, um, if it doesn't, like if it can't unfollow them, then it'll just say that we can't uh, for whatever reason, whether it's um, that you're not actually following them or that they're not actually, or yeah, that you're, that you're not actually following them, or there's just a rate limit issue or something like that. Um, and if you can, or if they're following you back, then we'll add them to our friends list, and we'll remove them from the followed list. And like I said, uh, when that three hour mark hits or whatever, and then your next search happens, it just goes ahead and unfollows everybody. Um, I also, oh, I also added these functions that basically says if the length of any of these, um, files, the like tweets, friend users, follow users is greater than 100 on, um, boot, then we'll automatically run those functions, um, on the first run. And I believe that sums up. Um, oh, I also, for each of these functions, unlike and unfollow friends and unfollow, I added try accepts for each of these just to uh, avoid any errors. 
um, when we're running over a long period of time. And then for the unlike function, um, I also added a, another uh, error catching. And I don't know if we talked about error catching, but um, I believe we did with the error with tweets. So I added some error catching in our unlike function as well, which uh, the error code 144, just when I was running into errors, um, I had checked this, um, that whether the status, like, which is a, a tweet, whether you can, um, can't unlike it or it's actually been deleted already, then um, it'll just go ahead and remove it from the tweet uh, list anyways. All right, um, so that's about it. I also, yeah, like I said, I added more logging. So I have like a sense launch variable. But that, I believe that's all the changes that have been made so far. Um, but the new changes that we have to make is, well, let's see, where did this bug occur? into this show friendship in this method right here. Um, so what we can do honestly hmm I think it's just because I'm following too many people too quickly but um, to avoid errors like this in the future we can add another try except right here. I believe this is a different error than Actually, we don't even need to use this. We can just use this and say, because we know if, um, if this isn't returning something, if we're not returning something on our show friendship function, where we're only giving it a user ID, then we know that we're hitting a rate limit. So we can um, add a, sleep and actually I would do 900 seconds because I believe the rate limits on Twitter are 15 minutes um okay so using this show friendship yeah we already went over the whole tuple thing um so yeah um this would stop this error from occurring in this instance, um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else, but I think we're good. So we can copy and paste this. Well, I will do that. And um, I will run this bot for a little while longer. And then otherwise, I think we'll be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, subscribe to my channel. I plan on posting more um, tutorials as well as different GitHub projects and Python scripts that I find. So go ahead, follow me, and uh, see you guys later. Thanks. Just a quick update. Um, even while running the new follow function, we still hit the rate limit. So I've just added a time sleep. Um, of 10 seconds between each unfollow and I mean that'll just have to do for now
I'm not really sure what else we can do to avoid uh, hitting a rate limit and having to wait 15 minutes. It's just not worth it. So, um, yep, that'll be updated on the GitHub. You can install it down below. Um, and I might do an install guide if you need that. So if you do, post a comment and uh, I might make a new video. So, yeah, once again, peace out, guys. Thanks.